from Johnny O, an alcoholic. My sobriety date is August the 12th, 1968. I'm going to tell you, uh, I've known Al for over four decades, uh, but I'm going to tell you of a special event that took place in my life frequently. It's different than what so far the people have been talking about. Uh, Al wasn't my sponsor. He was just a good friend. Uh, Jack Colt was my sponsor. But uh, my wife has a beauty shop in our home. And two of the customers were Bernice and, and Alice. That's Jack Holt's wife and, and, and Al's wife. And they used to meet there every Friday morning. It was the great event I had every Friday because Al used to come with Bernice and Jack used to come with Alice. And Al sometimes would just leave Bernice and go to the Yolanda West, and sometimes Jack did the same. But there were almost on a 50% basis, Al fell in love with my little dog. And my little dog was a little Jack Russell Terrier that loved Al. And in my backyard, you know, I had a patio swing that fit three people. And then whenever I could, Al and I used to sit on that swing with my little dog in his lap. And we used to swing for an hour and a half while his wife was getting her hair cut. And during that time, we used to share a great deal in AA history in this valley, and AA history in the whole. I used to sit between Jack and Al, and we just swung. And nothing to do with anything else except swinging in my backyard. I did that this morning, except the swing is gone. But that's how I remember Al. My little dog, his name was Molly, was so happy when Al came into the beauty shop that she had wag her tail and try and draw him towards the swing almost on almost every Friday morning. So if you remember Al about his, uh, his great talks, I do, uh, but it is more that I remember him as a quiet man with a dog in his lap, sitting between, I was sitting between him and Jack. And you know, there's another thing, I have a strange kind of mind, I think you all know that, and uh, I think of things that nobody else thinks of. You realize that Al ended World War II in Korea? Do you realize that Jack ended World War II in Tokyo Bay on the destroyer? and they were only about 300 miles apart in 1945. I wonder if the good Lord was kind of getting them together in a different way. Just 300 miles apart, and yet they were almost 10 years apart before they got to know each other. They were both World War II veterans who served their country well and who have served Alcoholics Anonymous very well. Thank you. And what's the last one? Do you guys know? Unconditional love. 